Hey, what's up guys, Houston here. And for those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome, please remember to hit that subscribe button and the bell. And for those of you uh, that's been following me and supporting me, as always, salute. And for those of you that's been my faithful patrons, I really appreciate it, double salute. Now, today's video, we're gonna be talking about net 30s that are more important than Dunn and Bradstreet. Now, I'm not saying that Dunn and Bradstreet is not important, okay? But I need you to understand where a lot of people have been trying to build business credit based off of Dunn and Bradstreet in order to get funding. Then they've been having challenges. So I'm going to share some things with you that's going to be able to help you to be able to build a better relationships in order to get funding for your business. Now, for those of you that already have established businesses, I'm going to talk about a few loans uh, that you may want to consider. So let's talk about the loans first, okay, before we jump into the uh, net 30s that are more important, all right? So one of them is uh, Seek Business Capital. Okay, and for, for you guys, um, please understand these lenders I'm talking about, they are third party lenders. They are not traditional banks and stuff. So their interest rate may be a, a little higher than when if you go to the bank or something like that. But again, if you have challenging credit, bad credit, and you're just trying to get funding based off of the performance of your business, these are some of the lenders that I would definitely probably check out. And if you checked out some of these lenders, let me know, how did you like them? Did they respond the way you wanted? Uh, were they fair to you? Okay, with Seek Business Capital, they're saying you uh, can get a loan with no revenue, with no revenue and no time in business. Now this is very important because whenever you're trying to get a business loan, all right, when you're going through the banks and stuff, they always tell you what, that we want to see at least 18 months to 24 months in business for a business loan. Now, for a business credit card, they want to see you can with a brand new business, you can get a you can start a business today and get a business credit card today, right? And then with the business lines, they usually work like with traditional lenders. They will give you a business uh, credit card. And then as you continue to make deposits and make payments and utilize the credit card and stuff like that, what happens, given in between six to nine months, if a positive activity then they will offer you a business line of credit, okay? And I'm going to talk about some of those banks as well, but I just wanted to help some of you guys that may be struggling to get some business funding, so that way you at least have some lenders in mind to where you can probably approach, all right? Now, there's a, it's called Business Advanced Funding, okay? Now, again, with business advanced funding, they want you to be in business at least six months. All right? And they want you to be making at least, at least $5,000 a month. And if you had a recent bankruptcy, it's okay. Long as you're not in bankruptcy. So if the bankruptcy has been discharged, you're okay. So. That's what I want you to know in terms of business advanced funding, all right? Then there's another one, SHIELD funding. Now, with SHIELD funding, they said you can be in business at least two months and your revenue at least 8,000 and they loan uh, start at about 5,000. Okay, now again, these are from lenders that not a really, now again, with business, excuse me, with sick business capital, if they're talking about no revenue, no time in business, of course they want you to have either established credit 
or they want you to have some type of collateral. But with business advance funding and shell funding, again, you can have bad credit. They're going to be looking at the performance of the business. Now, you also have um, PayPal and Square. Okay, These are two lenders that don't look at your personal credit. Okay, so if you're dealing with uh, PayPal, as a matter of fact, a lot of people are not aware that uh, PayPal has the loan builder, right? And so you have to be making at least forty-two thousand annually, but you don't have to have a PayPal account. Okay, so you, in order to get the PayPal loan builder, you don't have to have a PayPal account. Now, do they have other PayPal uh, products? Yes. Okay, and some of those are as long as you've been with them for at least 90 days, they um, offer you up to 30% of what your annual sales is. Okay, um, but with Square, they also offer loans, and again, it's because they're not focused on the personal credit, what they're focused on is the performance of the business all right so that's very important so for those of you that's trying to get funding for your business and stuff here's here's a few options now let's go back to talking about the uh, net thirties that are more important than done in brad street all right so here's the thing about it in terms of funding and trying to get business funding most of the time i continue to tell people like when you're trying to get business funding uh, a lot of lenders aren't focused on your paydex score. You can have a hundred paydex score. It doesn't mean anything, okay, to a lot of lenders. They don't care about that, all right? But there are some things that you do need to have in order to get qualified for funding. And so here's, here's the deal. And it's one of these here things that I'm going to write down, okay? And it's just as important as having a Dun and Bradstreet file. All right. So let me write them down. Okay. And you, in the comments, let me know which one do you think is more important than having a Dun and Bradstreet file. All right. So you have your business registration. Okay. Then you have your EIN number. Once you have your EIN number, you have your business bank account, which we're going to talk about in a minute because it's very important. Um, after your business bank account, then you have your website. Then you have your um, uh, corporate, corporate email. And you have your eight, excuse me, 800 number, right? Now, in the comments, I want you all to, act, to tell me which one of these is more important than having a Dunn's number. There's one on here that is just as important as having a Dunn and Bradstreet number. And in terms of, like if you're building tier credit, going from tier 1 credit to tier 2 credit, again, and if you don't have that, some of the tier two credit lenders, they won't approve you. Okay, so one of these on here, well, it's the business registration, EIN, the business bank account, the website, the corporate email, or the 800 number. In the comments, let me know which one do you think is more important than having a Dun and Bradstreet number. Okay, because that's very important. And I think if people understood the importance of it, I think they'll have more success on actually building their business in order to help them get qualified for funding. Now, what I want to do, first we're going to talk about these banks, alright? And then we're going to talk about the net 30s. Because if you understand the banks reporting and then actually go after the net 30s, you'll build a better relationship. That's the reason that I continue to tell people, it's not always necessary to build a relationship with Dunn and Bradstreet or to have net 30s. But I'm going to show you a strategy if I were you and I was trying to build business credit for funding 
not just for supplies, but actual for funding, these are the net 30s that I would actually use. So in order to do that, you have to understand how to pick the right bank. Okay, it's very important. Now, the first one is Amex. And I, I have a, a video. I have two videos, and if you put a comment in the section, say, hey, Houston, can I see the video on building a relationship with American Express, I'll send you those two videos, okay? So put a comment and let me know you want to see those two videos. But with American Express, okay, there you uh, pick up the information from Small Business, Small Business Financial Exchange, okay? And this is very important. This here, this here, this here, like they said, this here is very important, all right? Because when I start showing you the net 30s, it's going to start making sense, all right? And so with American Express now, you can have a business bank account, right? They um, have the business credit cards, but now you can actually open up a business bank account through Cabbage, all right? And again, this is very important because if you're trying to get more funding through American Express, then you definitely want to be able to open up a business bank account or have trade lines that are reporting to the same credit bureaus that they pull in from. All right, so that's why this is important. Okay, the next one is BOFA, Bank of America. Now, they pull from small business financial uh it's the small business fin financial excuse me guys uh sorry about that here's here's my notes it's the small business um financial exchange i said it earlier and forgot it because of the conversation but excuse me but the small business financial exchange with bank of america okay that's they they that's who they report to now Here's another one. If you've been turned down for a PPP loan, if you've been turned down for an EIDL loan, okay, what's happening is that the SBA, okay, and these guys, the SBA, What's happening, so you, can, so you can take notes of it, what's happening is this here, all right? They pull your credit. When they pull your credit, they're probably looking at your experience, all right? And at a certain threshold, they're like, uh, no. Uh, then they're also going to pull this here file as well, which people are not aware of. Okay, and if they don't see anything reported on this here file, then that's also going to have them to uh, turn you down. Now, here's something you could do if they turn you down. I would probably add the trade lines that I'm going to tell you about on my file, and then I would reapply for the EIDL. Okay, so that way you probably will get approved. So that's the reason that's important. Now, another one is Capital One. Okay? Now, with Capital One, guys, Capital One, they're reporting to Dunn and Bradstreet. Again, they're reporting to um, Experian, Small Business. Uh, Financial exchange. All right, so that's that's who they're reporting to. Now, I made a video about Capital One, and I told people that Capital One has business credit cards that won't report on your personal credit. Okay, and people are like, well, no, no, and I told you on new accounts. So. And I have a video on my other channel for that. But what I wanted to, to clarify, okay, is Capital One, when you apply for a business credit card or personal credit card, all right, and I'm, I'm going to tell you another thing that I learned about Capital One. But when you apply for a business credit card, 
or a personal credit card, they pull from all three credit bureaus, okay? Now, here's the interesting thing about that. If you had a personal credit card with Capital One and it went bad, that does not mean you cannot apply for a business credit card with Capital One because they're two separate things. One is on the personal side, one's on the business side. So if you had an account with Capital One that went bad, that does not mean you cannot apply for a business credit card with Capital One. Okay? So just keep that in mind. So if you want to do business with Capital One. Now, the Capital One uh, credit card that you should look out for, that if you don't want it reporting on your personal credit, is your Capital One, is your Capital One Spark Cash, okay? Now, again, this is for new accounts, all right? And that they, they won't report the account on your uh, business side, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now, another bank is Chase. Okay, so with Chase, they're reporting to Dun & Bradstreet, Equifax, Experian, Dun & Bradstreet, Equifax, Experian, and um, Small Business Financial Exchange. You all understand, do you all kind of see a pattern of what's going on here? This is the reason that I tell you it's important to build a relationship with the banks first. Okay? Build a relationship with the banks before you start going after net 30s. Or at least set up your accounts with these different banks and stuff. And then purchase your net 30s through these accounts. Now, if you need help setting up your corporation, you can click the link below. Set up a consultation with three-way funding. Uh, if you have questions about your personal credit, they, you can also schedule a consultation about that as well. But this is very important that you all understand it. So we have these here, um, five. Then you have City. City is going to, Citibank is going to report to D and B. They're also going to report to, um, Equifax, excuse me, Experian, Equifax, and Small Business Financial Exchange. Okay? Now, here's another one Discover. Discover for their business. And the strange thing about it, people said, Discover Business, but I've never seen an actual Discover Business card. And if any of you have an actual Discover Business card, put a comment below because I'm, I don't see it. I know that they talk about Discover Business, but I've never seen a Discover Business card. I've never seen a Discover Business bank account. So in terms of how is Discover mixing and mingling on the business side, I don't know. But if anybody that has a Discover business account, a business credit card, put a comment below, all right? Now, U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank. They report to D and B and Equifax, okay? And then, I like U.S. Bank. And the reason that I like U.S. Bank, once you have your account set up with them, every six months, if you're in good standing, they give you a credit line increase without even asking. Okay? And like I said, this is how I managed to raise a couple hundred thousand dollars with them because once I, I have multiple corporations with them, you know, and I'm in good standing, I make my payments, I utilize my credit and stuff like that. So that's the reason that I have a couple hundred thousand dollars just with them, okay? And so I have a couple hundred thousand dollars with American Express as well. But here, here's the point that I'm making. 
making sure that you are accounts in good standing and then every six months they're going to do a credit line increase just by looking at your business credit file so that's the reason that this is important okay then you have Wells Fargo now with Wells Fargo I only raised a hundred thousand but hey I appreciate it at least I have that type of capital now Wells Fargo they report to the small business financial exchange as well okay so now you have these 10 financial institutions okay and now you know who they report to and why you want to open up a business bank account with them some, some people say well I have one corporation can I have multiple bank accounts absolutely absolutely so I definitely encourage you the reason is because where one bank said well we don't gave you enough credit then another bank would say well you're a new member or whatever but you have good deposits and stuff we'll give you credit right so you can use the same corporation same EIN number to raise capital from multiple corporations all right now I'm just going to erase this here for a minute because and I, I hope you guys got that but now let's talk about these net 30s okay let's talk about these net 30s because now this is where I need you to really focus on what I'm saying because it's really going to help you build up your business credit if you do this here again worrying about tier 2 business credit and stuff won't be necessary you can do it if you want to and I'll make another video talking about tier 2 credit but we always focus on strategy so that's the reason that I want you all to understand how to do this correctly alright now one and these are these some of these uh, these net 30 more likely you heard of them before but nobody really broke it down to you to where it actually you're like oh this goes with that and that's the reason that I need it okay so that's the reason that this is very important so now you have um, crown office supply okay now you're like well I don't need no office supply buddy 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 it ain't about the office supply it's about the trade line right and building that relationship because you're trying to get funding alright so this is the reason you set up the business bank account first okay you set your business bank account first and then you make your purchases through your business bank account to these companies alright so now you have um, they report to Equifax, Credit Safe. Um, who else they report to? They report to S B F E. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do you, do you all see what I'm what what's happening here? You all see what's happening here? Now this is going to start to build a relationship with those banks, right? So just stick with me because it's really going to help you. All right. Then they have the National Association of Credit Management. So they're reporting to them. And so he here's their criteria. All right. You're going to pay $99, right? Annually. So once you pay the $99, you're going to, uh, you have to be a U.S. business. You have to uh, have no, no negatives. Okay. And you, um, I think, I don't no, I don't. I think you can just with a new business. They're not a one of those companies that oh, you have to be in business for thirty days. No, not with them. But one thing about it is uh, also report to Lexus Nexus, right? So their credit lines, their credit lines go anywhere from eight hundred to five thousand. All right. 
So that's the reason like these here accounts are more important than like if you get like a Granger seeding U line. Yeah, th those are okay. But these here are a little more important because they report to more business credit bureaus, okay? So which is more of a benefit to you, all right? Then you have Shirtsy. Now, again, I know that you guys have heard of these net 30s, or you may not have heard of them, but the importance of them and why you should have them that's the that's the bigger key element here, okay? So, Experian, Equifax. You have Experian, Equifax, Credit Safe. And if if some of these, um, if you guys have some of these, and in terms of reporting, if they reported to Dun and Bradstreet, or give me a comment, let me know. Hey, what it, what do you think about them? Are they fair enough to you? Are they good enough for you? You know. But at the same time, at least you will know. Okay. You have a uh, Ansonia. I don't even know. I never heard of them. But they they they're a business credit bureau. Isn't that interesting? I never heard of them. But there they are, uh, and Sonia, and then you have a National Association of Credit Management. Okay, now their criteria is ninety nine dollars annual fee. Um, plus, you have to buy some. You have to be in business at least ninety days. Okay. Uh, if you have some trade lines already established on your business credit file, then they may bypass that, okay? And then, um, no negatives. Alright, and all of these here, these net 30s, I don't care if you have bad credit. These net 30s you can get because they're looking at building a relationship with the business. It has nothing to do with your personal credit. So if you have bad credit, if you're in bankruptcy, it doesn't matter when you're building your business credit. Now again, with these net 30s, again, it's a leveraging tool to build a bridge to help you get funding. Now where you may have, if you're in bankruptcy or have bad credit and stuff like that, in terms of funding with these financial institutions, but with the net 30s, you can get those if you have a bad or challenging credit, okay? Number three. And guys, if I'm explaining this good enough and you feel comfortable about it, put a comment below. Let me know that you're comfortable with the information. Let me know if I'm going too fast or I uh, share too much information. Because some people get upset because I share a lot of information. And they're like, why are you telling all these people these secrets or whatever? But it's not secrets. I'm helping my community. That's my whole purpose, to help my community. So, those that want it, here it is, enjoy it, you know, just leave a comment, thumbs up, and share. I, that's all I'm asking. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So, the third net 30 that's more important than Dun & Bradstreet is Creative Analytics. Okay, now understanding with Creative Analytics, they give you up to a $10,000 credit line. They report to Equifax, Credit Safe. National Association of Credit Management. Um, a few criteria is that you um, they have a $99 annual fee, okay, and uh, they want you to be in business at least 30 days. But at the same time, you may already have trade lines that's reporting on your file, so they may be able to bypass the 30 days to help you get approved. So I wouldn't let that discourage me, all right? Now, number four, um, net 30 is, uh, excuse me, is wise business plan. Okay, now, here's the thing about wise business plan. They have different products and stuff. 
but I think one of the most valuable products and stuff is that they're able to write you a business plan. Um, if you was to go to like um, Axion, Axion.com, where they're nonprofit and you're trying to raise funding and stuff, well, one of the things that Axion is going to ask you, do you have a business plan, right? And yeah, there are people out there that write great business plans. But you have to ask, will I get more out of the business plan? And so what I mean by that, okay, with the wise business plan, not only will they report to Equifax, they'll report to Credit Safe, Equifax, Credit Safe, and uh, DMB. Okay? So, not only will they buy, write your business plan, though, they, again, they have other products and stuff, but they're actually going to be reporting this to help establish the business credit. Okay? And now I always tell you guys that trade lines versus um, ver trade lines or trade vendors. Uh, versus just trying to get funding, there's different ways. Now, the connection that we're making here is that with these here trade vendors, okay, by them reporting to these files and taking advantage of that and opening up a bank account with these here banks here, now you're able to build a stronger relationship to be able to get qualified for funding. All right, and so again, this has nothing to do with tier two, tier three, tier four type of business credit. If you just follow the strategy that I'm putting out here, I promise you, and focus on restoring your personal credit bills, continue making weekly deposits into your business bank account. This will be able to build up your business credit so you can get qualified for funding much faster than just consistently buying a lot of net 30s, okay? So, that being said, um, what are some of the criteria for Wise Business Plan? They, they also have a uh, $99 fee and they said 30, 30 days. However, I'll put a link below because when you sign up with them, any products and stuff like that, uh, they still will report. So you don't necessarily have to be in business for 30 days with them. I know this for a fact because I've sent clients over there with brand new businesses and they've got business plans and they still report it and they was brand new businesses. So I know that that's not the case. That's just some of their criteria. But in terms of what type of product you're getting from them and stuff like that, they may um, have some they may they may have some challenges in terms of the business or whatever. But most of my clients have brand new businesses that went over there and got business plans and then reported. Okay? So that's the reason that I'm telling you this. And again, if you guys have used any of these uh, trade lines, put a comment below. Let me know. Hey, Houston, um, I did see this trade line show up here, but I didn't see it show up here. Because a lot of people, when they are uh, talking about business credit, they're only focused on Dunn and Bradstreet. And this is the reason, like I said, it's not that Dunn and Bradstreet is not important. But now you know exactly what financial institutions that actually leverage Dun & Bradstreet as well as the other uh, credit business credit reporting bureaus. All right. So that being said, let's talk about number five. Uh, strategic. Right. Strategic um, network solutions. Okay. Now, they, they've been around a long time since I, I've been in the business credit uh, industry. So, they've, they've been around for some years, okay? And they report to DMB and Experian, all right? And again, 
remember that these here trade lines, you can have bad credit. You may even have a recent bankruptcy. As long as it's discharged, this is not going to stop you from getting trade credit. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Alright? So with them, you have to um, at least make an initiation of uh, $75. Okay? That's where they start at $75. Now, I know you all are, well, what about Granger's C New Line and stuff like that? They're good, okay? But I'm picking uh, trade lines that really can help you in your business for your business credit strategy to not only just get trade vendors, but actually get funding. So that's the reason that I'm making this video, okay? Now, um... Number six, again, you have a business t-shirt. What is it? Uh, business t-shirt club. All right. And another thing, you don't have to go overboard with these. Just four or five of these uh, accounts uh, is good enough. Okay, and then building that relationship with your financial institution. You don't have to have 10, 20 trade lines reporting in order to get qualified for funding. Because what it is, is that unfortunately, like some of these companies, they aren't transparent with you. And so they send you down this rabbit hole where you keep on buying all of these net 30s and stuff. But you're like, wait a minute, how come I'm not getting any funding? You know, or how come, like... You get to this step. Then when you get to uh, to apply for Staples, and Staples uh, denies you. You're like, wait a minute, what happened here? Well, the thing about it, remember I talked about uh, some of the criterias up here? Where I was talking about the business registration, the EIN, the business bank account, the website, the email, and the 800 number? Well, guess what? Staples and some of those other companies, even if you don't have a corporate email, because, uh, or because you don't have a corporate email, they will uh, decline you. So it's just very basic, simple stuff like that that can hurt you. And again, buying all of these here uh, trade vendors and stuff, like I said, you only need four or five. All the rest of the money, just put it in the bank. Make, make weekly deposits to one of these financial institutions, okay? You make a weekly deposits to one of these financial institutions, continue on that. And with these trade lines, trust me, you'll get funding much faster than continuing buying net 30s, okay? I'm not against buying net 30s, hey, because certain uh, businesses actually need them, all right? Uh, it's very important, but at the same time, if you're focusing on funding, then you really need to understand, don't go overboard with that 30s, okay? Just follow, stick to the script, follow what I'm telling you, and this will help you build a faster relationship, okay? Uh, so, in terms of Business T-Shirt Club, Business T-Shirt Club, they report... To Equifax, Credit Safe, Equifax, Credit Face, and Sonia. And again, like I said, that, that's a that's a new one on me and Cortana. Um, Cor excuse me, uh, Cortera. I think it's, is it Katana or Cortera? Somebody uh, clarify that for me. Is it Katana or Cortera? Uh, but, nonetheless, I think it's uh, uh, Cortera. Okay? Uh, C-O-R-T-E-R-A. Cortera, excuse me. I think that's what it is. Now, they do, uh, they have an annual fee of $69. Okay? No. Here's another one. Uh, if you're trying to uh, keep up with your business credit file, you want to know what's happening on the personal credit and stuff like that, um, 
Here's one that's very important. It's NAV, okay? Now they sell business products and stuff like that. Uh, in order to get them to report, there's two programs that you have to consider, okay? It's called the Business Boost. All right, and they have the business loan builder. All right, it's the business boost and the business loan builder. Now, who do they report to? They report to Experian and Equifax. And I think Don and Bradstreet will pick them up. Not for certain on that. But I know they report to Experian and Equifax. All right? And that's very important because what most people don't understand with the financial institutions, they focus more on what's going on with Experian and Equifax than what's going on with your Dun and Bradstreet. Okay? So that's the reason I keep telling you to continue to make weekly deposits and stuff. Uh, if you get qualified for a business credit card and stuff, that's going to report to your Experian and Aquifax most of the time. But again, we have a breakdown here that I gave you as well. So this is Houston with three-way funding. If you have questions, uh, if you want to set up a consultation, click the link below. I put a link uh, for some of these so you'll be able to get access to them. Uh, but if you want access to your business credit file as well as uh, your Experian credit report, then I'll put a link for NAV down in the description as well. So for those of you just finding me, uh, welcome. Please, I do appreciate you sticking with me. I know it's a long video, but it's a lot of content I wanted you all to understand, to benefit from. Now, again, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And for those of you that's always following me and supporting me, salute.